Yo, this game is insane. What's happening? Wait, wait, wait. I have got literal tingles running down my body. D did you get that? I'll turn up the volume. Oh, please don't. Please don't. This VHS tape... Wait, what does that say? Community TV's exclusive property. In case you're not part of our crew or editors, deliver it to the TV station immediately. I didn't read the rest of that. I uh, Maybe there was an address there. Um, yeah, I missed that, so I guess I'm gonna have to hang on to this. I, I, I guess. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to a game called Teleforum. Now, this is a game that I saw the demo for, and I was like, hang on, I have to play this game. Just the style and the presentation of this game looks so, so unique. It's like, it's got found footage horror elements. It's a point and click, I think, at the same time. This could be one of those games where we only get one or two of them a year, where they're so profound and amazing that when we play them, it's like, dang. Or it could be real bad, but I don't know. If you guys enjoy this video, I think you know exactly what to do. I know this game has multiple endings, so if you guys do enjoy it, we might go for the other ones. Alright, let's play or put in the tape or whatever else we might be doing. This is a game called Teleforum. We're gonna learn what that name means and- Oh, Juliana, hey, how you doing? Hang on a moment. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? So, oh, we're the camera operator. Let me remove the lens cover or on now. I mean, we can kind of hear it, so there's the cap. There, okay, this is us. Hey, how you doing also, sir? Right. It's best to have as much material as possible. We want the sick floor. Can you get the button? See, this is, it just looks so unique, bro. It's like found footage, but we're also like a camera TV presenter type thing. Hit floor number six, boom, we're going up, going up. Uh, what is it? You look like you have something to say. Don't you think this is wrong to bother a widow? I was just thinking about what happened. Did you get authorization to do this? Uh, maybe the first one? If we don't do this, someone else will. You know what, Gusto? Back at the station, he's itching to make a special show about this. Trust me, new guy. I didn't get here waiting for them to give me the jobs. It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? So we're a new guy? What's happened for this lady to be a widow? They just told me how it happened. What are you used to- You know, you're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Kelso a VHS tape, or Celso. The VT operator? Right. Celso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. Then, bam, it happened. What happened? Oh, we're here. Come on. All right, let's go. Yo, I why am I excited? I don't know what I'm getting into. The presentation, though. Ooh, it's eerie, right? Okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Go to the light side, head towards the trash bags. Um, let's check out the trash, right? Maybe we're gonna find, uh, you know, something good. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I think it's that apartment just ahead, so get it right, 608. We go to the door and we, uh, make our presence known. Here we are. Gonna knock on the door. Well, let's get ready, shall we? <coughs> I don't know why I'm acting like I'm gonna talk. I'm literally the cameraman. Let's, uh, let's do this. You can film her getting the door and all that. Without her permission, we should probably knock, ask if it's okay to get the shots and then do it. So, should I knock on the door, ring the bell? What'll look better on video? We're thinking like this, um, probably ring the bell. I mean, knocking on the door also, sounds more like, uh, you know, police that way. I wonder if she's up to talking to a stranger right now. I hope the camera doesn't act up. Um, more about the first one. If she isn't, she will be now. What do you mean? Try that. Let me try again. Okay, that's a bit more of a, you know, expected sound. Is she in? Is she even home? Say, did you work with Walter for long? Ah, uh, let's get some small talk whilst we're waiting. Some four years. I'm... This hit me hard too, you know. Huh? Wait, what? I want to do something for him. And take advantage of the situation in the process? Sure. He'd say I'm demonstrating a sharp sense for opportunity. They don't want to answer, bro. Get the message. Why don't we leave? We need that report though, again. Alright, third time's the charm. I mean, they say it. Whoever invented that scene, are they correct? Or were they just talking absolute bullcrap? They were right. What do you want? Hi, Mrs. Martins. We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Look how she's peering right there. Do you really need the video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. So Walter is her husband. A homage, a kind of retrospective, you know? He worked at the station for so long. So we wanted to talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine, come in. It might be good to talk about it. All right, so we're gonna go in. Quick thinker, homage. I can't believe she bought that. Why not? We can edit it later. But right now, we need the raw material. Come on, before she changes her mind. It's an element of mystery in the air, like, okay, we're keen to go through, but why? Um, can you stand? <laughs> Thank you again for welcoming us, Mrs. Martin. We got awards all Oh, we can look around a little bit. You see this? Hmm. Silver here will film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea, coffee? 
do we? Oh, I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. All right, and she goes off. So we're in her apartment. We can uh, look around a little bit. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's loop around whilst we have the chance. Just like that. Make sure you get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. What's going on, dude? There's this reason we're here. It's like we came to uh, not talk about this dude. Are we trying to catch him out? What did he do? Let's uh, start looking, I guess. Look at these certificates. Journalism degree from UFRGS. Specialization in communication. Walter was well educated. I think Mrs. Martins is just the same. What a waste. Hey, what do you mean by that? Oh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? Oh, we can look around. Hey, all right, we got TV. What's on there? Hey, that TV shot looks good. Something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. Walter passed away. Did he get hit by a lightning bolt though? Is it gonna rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look, ah, these roosters never get it right. Hmm. Guess we can use this take to set the mood. Yep, got that shot. Let's uh, look around a little more. More things on the wall. We've seen those. We've got books down here. There's a lot of books in the house. And a sleeping pup. Let's go. Anything interesting? Mm, there's a book that doesn't quite fit here. Let me see. It's an electronics manual. It's a bookmark on a page about a cathode ray tube, the CRT. The pages are loose. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out what you can now. All right, we're gonna look this way. Door, uh, bars. This plant is begging for water. Guess it's been neglected the past few days, considering all that's happened. Understandable, we got coat rack. I remember Walter bought this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right, the image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside that thing. I remember he got cheated out of some 500 cruzieros for an oversized coat. I don't know if I said that right, no idea. He looks ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the dang coat that he just had to wear it. Poor guy. Let me see that. Behind us finally. Oh, that's a nice little chair. We see this picture. Look at this photo. Some scenery? Not a very appealing scenery. Plus, it's out of focus. The photo must have a story behind it, though. I can feel it. I might ask her about it during the interview. Uh, this... Look, a daily trophy. Oh, right. Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought this would make us stand out more, but it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going to onto Hustish Up. What did I say right there? I said it wrong, but either way, Adriana butts in. Coffee's almost done. All right, I ain't got long. I ain't got long at all, man. She's back. Uh, will you have one? Uh, I'm gonna skip the coffee, I think. I'm good. Feel free to have one if you change your mind. So, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great, well, we'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Yeah, she responds appropriately. She's like, let's go. Why does she look so ominous? Like, why can't you sit not in the darkness, Silva? Let's put the light in front of your face, all right? Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. The music just changed a bit. We're here with Mrs. Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. The weather rooster atop the TV, the blurred picture on the shelf, television seems strange. Walter's raincoat, let's, uh, let's bring it up, right? Many of Walter's things are still around here. Yes, I've been thinking about selling the apartment because of everything. These things just make it all the more difficult. I'm thinking of getting rid of everything. It's hell. We can talk about uh, the ward in the living room. Walter was a very high caliber professional working at the small station. Would you like to comment on that? He felt he had less problems with higher ups than working at a smaller station or when working at a smaller station. He would suggest topics, be more hands on. He also believed in keeping local stations alive. We live, well, he wasn't an ambitious man. Not in that sense. He was a good man. Uh, why is the music getting more and more weird? Uh, shall we literally talk about electronic manuals though? We saw an electronics manual. Walter was an avid reader. What had he been reading these last few days? He'd walk all around the house with some manual or something in his hands. An electronics manual, I think. He kept messing around with the VCR. I noticed because he even stopped reading the papers. Sickly plant, blood. Why are we gonna bring that up though? Like in an interview, that's kind of weird. The TV. Walter dedicated a good portion of his professional life to the TV. Now he's been messing with the TV, right? This uh, could house something post his uh, demise. I couldn't help but notice your television here. I, yes, we had a blackout that day. There was a horrible lightning strike nearby, right after the broadcast, which gave me a heart attack. The TV hasn't been working properly since then. I leave it on so the house feels less empty. L look, I I'm sorry, but I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins, we have enough material already. We're zooming in on her face though. He, he was so different, so nervous. I never expected him to, no one expected that, Mrs. Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling- Whoa, what the? 
Yeah, okay, now I know why she's thinking about moving apartment. In the apartment that went down? A gun? What gun? Well, I never had a gun. Uh, the, the gun. The one he used during the shows. Wait, what's happening? He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferreira told you back in the station, right? Oh, wait, what? Dude, she was told a lot. Hang on a moment. Um, I mean, let's say this one. Uh, what? H how can that be? Oh, my God. I, I knew it. Ever since he'd got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast? Celso examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned. Something like that? Th that wasn't the tape. Not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? You still have the original one? Yes. Yeah, wait, what, dude, what's happening? It's like this is descending into some weird mystery so rapidly. Like, what we thought we knew, we didn't. We began this adventure with, like, the main characters having all of the context, but now they're in the same position as us. They don't know anything. Uh, I don't know what he saw in this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home or in the small hours of the morning. Dude, this is getting so bizarre. Like, this is actually starting to creep me out. I genuinely don't want to progress this game. You want to watch it, don't you, for your show? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I, I'm i going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. We're gonna watch a tape that Walter was watching a lot. This is it, we, we have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Are you crazy? I'm out. Yeah, I just gotta see what the heck's going on. There are so many choices here, bro. I can already see how these multiple endings can come into effect. So uh, let's say the first one. Gotta see what's going on. I knew I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You'll film me as I watch the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. Okay. This is strange, bro. Look how she sits in front of the TV like that. Right, let's make some room here. Okay. All right, let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on film. We can fix it all in editing later. Yep, I feel you. Yep, do that all the time. There, I'll press play. All right, I'll get it for you. Hold up. It's starting. We can kind of see it, but not quite. So this is what Walter was watching. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. What is that, dude? These symbols. I, I, I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? Looking at them makes my head hurt. I feel like I can almost understand them. A lot about oddly understanding. But at the same time, I can't. It feels like they get entangled inside your brain. Whoa, it's like a corridor, I see that. Oh, it changed, good. So he did go inside the building? What is this place? Uh, could you mind dunking your head, ma'am? I can't see, it looks like a prison, looks like a shopping mall, a museum, a school. Uh, that looks like a school corridor. Are, are those classrooms? Why do their clothes look so much like my high school uniform? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. Who is it? Dude, I don't see nothing. Uh, that guy, he looks, he looks. What's she seeing in that? Don't, dude, this is weird. Ooh. This is the ASMR we don't like, bro. This is the ASMR concept that failed, all right? Then we got like, tapping on glass. D did you get that? I'll turn off the volume. Oh, please don't. Please don't. What's he saying? We zoom in. We get closer. Is this what's... Is that what's being... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sounds like I mentioned someone named Oscar. Is that... Ca what's going on? It's like we have to uh, kind of interpret this. Someone named Oscar. I, I don't. I can't hear anything about Oscar. I can't understand a dang thing. Let me turn up the volume. Over. Please, Juliana. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Is that a face in a TV? We keep zooming in. Hey, you okay? That's how I'm turning this thing off. I had it. I'm out of here. Juliana stopped responding. It's like something in the TV just tapped into her brain. And she's still like fix, fixated on it. Wait, what's going on? That was some lightning, right? A blackout? Community TV. Okay, now I get why it's called that. Hey, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay, there's your broadcast in the eight. Where, where are we at? What's the significance of this? What's with these weird times? 8.08, 10.10, why can't you just get it on the hour every hour? 
You know? Dude, what the freak is going on? That's our introduction to whatever this game is. Okay, we're in the right building. Is the... Wait, what? Let me remove the... What the heck is going on, bro? Okay, hurry up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get the button. Sixth floor apartment 608. It's different. You look like you've seen a ghost. Wait, what's happening? Hold up. I just... Some deja vu. Uh, let's say it. Right. Wait, what the heck's happening? Uh, hey, man, we gotta go back to the station. I think my camera's busted. We got some RGB separation thing going on. What's happening, bro? What's going on? This is a tape wall to watch. We're doing the same thing again. We know where we're going, right? We, we turn to the right. Don't even have to... Let's go to 608. Head directly towards it. Go to the window. Let's do what we shouldn't do at the moment. Okay. Continue towards the window. Let's just get some air, right? What? What are you doing? How about you stop wasting our time? Can you do that, huh? I thought we could shoot some footage here from the window. Ah, okay. Well, you shot it, right? Come on, let's go. That's it. All right, 608, and we do the same thing as before. There's the apartment. Wait, th there's something twisty at play here. It's like, are we in a time loop? Finally. Uh, I'll do the talking. Yeah, I bet you will. We've already seen that you do all the talking. She's like more impatient. Okay, she answers the door. Good evening. We're from channel eight. We came to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? I, you don't want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events, everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? She's not responding. Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. It's like the same thing, but there's some changes. Hey, aren't you coming off a little too strong? I mean, are you asking about the tape? Hang on. No, we need to investigate this. She's got a whole life to mourn. Come on, get in. Juliana, respect would be nice. What's going on with you, man? You changed. Uh, we're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea, coffee? No, thanks. None this time. I'll go make something anyway. All right, even though we uh, explicitly said... <laughs> hey, pup, how are you doing? No, let's just... God damn it! We'll have to wait for her. I'll... I'll have a look around here? Yeah, whatever. Uh, pup? Hey, bro. Uh, so you're sleeping in the other universe. You, uh, look comfy. Hey, Gunpowder. He seems a little nervous and easy. Gunpowder's the name of the dog? Speaking about a gun, or is he afraid? Hey, bro, that's a bad dog name, I'm just saying. So many books. Huh, there's one missing. What? How? Wait, 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 hang on a moment. Look at these certificates. Walter isn't a complete dumbass, unlike some people. She is so different this time, but I don't recognize any of these institutions. Okay, Walter's been busy. Randy's got his coat still. Um, let's click it. The was. I'm pretty sure there was a... The boots have been taken? Hey, there's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look, go there and take it off. Here? B above? Oh, this thing. What? It's a shoehorn, right? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? So take it down. It's getting on my nerves. What the heck? Uh, wait, why? I won't do that. Do you always talk back like that? It's just a little favor. Come on, we'll put it back up later. I'm not messing up the poor woman's home. Yeah. Why? Do there's such an insignificant thing. Fine. Yeah, it's okay. All right, ma'am. So strange for you to uh, say that. We've got more things we can look at, too. I think Mrs. Martin's painted this one. So we get, uh, there. That was quick. She's already back. Okay, she takes a seat. Let's get to the point. Waltz took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original is here with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes, I, I have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Straight to the point this time. That's interesting. It's like the game is aware that we're now looping. Um, we can just do it. Do you want to shoot a video of the tape? Hey, she's a widow. What's going into you? Say this. I don't have time for this, but fine. You're right. This whole thing is making me antsy. You know what? Why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. See if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of this tape. In each loop, do we learn more and more? So there she is, by the very window that we, uh, you know, what we're going to. Uh, there she is. Deep breaths. Breathe it in. Take it easy. Let's just uh, talk. Uh, what's this smell? It's not a cigarette. <coughs> she's smoking that good, good. No, a focus. If I do a good job, I might get new opportunities. I can help Mrs. Martins feel better. Let's, um, say this one. I want to help her, right? She doesn't sound like she's in a good place, and she's caught up in whatever that dude was doing. It's what I want to believe, at least. Mrs. Martins? We go on up. What is it? We 
just want to talk, ma'am. Are you done? Not yet. Juliana is watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions. For your program, shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Yes, but she's busy with the tape. Actually, I'm worried about you, ma'am. Yeah, I, I am. I've seen many people like that girl in this line of work. Because of Walter. People who stop at nothing. Ugh. Fine. Let's do this interview of yours. You'd better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. How are you doing? How was Walter on that day? I kind of want to know this. But I don't know if I should uh, delve deeply into that one. Let's go. How was Walter on that day? Normal. Just like any other day. He spent so much time watching that thing. But his behavior was the same. He was uneasy, but I never thought it would come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it, but he left a note. I only noticed minutes after I'd already opened it. Or after it happened. The only strange thing that day was that he made a copy of the tape. Uh, do you know where the tape came from? Why did he make a copy? Why did you keep the tape? Oh, really, really good questions we should probably ask. Um, I have no idea why I kept the thing. I should have burned it, crushed with a hammer, but I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I think I see him when I look at the tape, you know? Just thinking about that girl, alone in my living room, watching that thing. It makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? Tell you the truth, so am I, because it's an important piece of this case. It's a case we're on. Um, let's go. Yes, I could see the greed on your colleague's eyes when she asked for the tape. To be honest, I thought you would ask the questions about Walter. He was your co-worker, no? Uh, that was the plan. Was it really? Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I... I could swear I've seen her before. There's something happening here where everyone seems to be aware of what's going on, but it's almost like deja vu versus knowing what's happening. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. And maybe I've seen her at the studio? I'm not sure. I, I don't think so. I haven't been working there for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. M me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick tasks. Let's say that. So you chose to omit yourself, right? No? I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder, the allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape from this whole thing. It really didn't cause anything positive until now, or that's precisely why we need to investigate exactly. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that's motivating this story you're working on? Or is it something else? And if it is something else, then it wouldn't be right. I wanna know. I mean, it's the reason, right? If you really believe this, or you say you believe it at least, who am I to stop you? Look, I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done, and then leave, please. I want my living room back. Thank you for this interview, Mrs. Martins. She was respectable, she was kind. But what's left of our colleague? Let's go on. Ah, uh, whoa! We've looped again! Something's happened! That is a uh, significant sound cue to tell us that uh, we're gonna wake up in the elevator again. What's happening? It, this feels like one of those uh, like analog horrors, but we're playing it instead of watching it. Same presentation. Do we then have the camera lens thing? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There is someone back there. Look at that. Who are you, huh? Show your face. Ah, you want to be a silhouette? You scared, huh? Scared of showing your face, but you still want to be in front of us. <laughs> Yo, this game is insane. What's happening? Wait, wait, wait. I need to reach the apartment. I have got, dude, my, I have got literal tingles running down my body. The apartment. W which apartment? 608. Yes, that was it. I had someone else with me? Ju uh, we don't remember her name. Ju Come on. Juliana? Wait, which one? How was it spelled, bro? Was it this one? Th that's right. Th the bitch. Well, we don't like her now. That tape. What I saw in it. I watched an unrecorded nightmare. Was seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of the future that never... What the heck? That last sentence is so trippy. My brain is struggling to comprehend it. An unrecorded nightmare. And if it was not recorded, can I ever awake from it? The apartment. She stayed there. Wait, we're going back to our colleague. Bro, wait, what? Wait. Better to record everything. Everything can be used. Bro ain't lying. I need to go on. This is the right way? Is it? No, it's not. No, I don't know. I need to pay. This way, bro. This sound. Do I really want to follow it? Um. I'm gonna follow it this time? I am stupid. Wait, where am I? What is this door? This is where she was? The door won't budge. But there's a grate? I need to see what. Bro, I'm a curious dude. 
Is that her? Oh my, wait. Yo, what is going on? Where? Where is she going? That was the elevator. Wherever it is, I don't want to go there. Nah, no way. I don't want to be here, I have to leave. We're committing to leave now. There isn't a trusty here. A weird smell here. Yeah, that's the trash bags, but where did I just smell this before? What? Oh my god, are we going to 608? The smell is stronger here. Follow this. I am too curious for my own good. Oh my gosh. Is this the apartment? The smell's coming from inside the apartment. Oh, I know what it is. The smell is ozone. Look into the smell's origin. Ah! I'm so stupid, bro. Whoa. Oh, this is the tape! In reverse? An element of it. Wait, we're back? Bro, what the heck? But it's record everything. Everything can be used. What just happened? What? Hold up. I don't know if we're looping or if we're seeing the same thing. We just go straight to wanting to leave. Hold up. What? Should I go the other way? This is... Wait, this is different. This is very different. I'm doing it again, man. Follow the smell. One more time. That's a different sound. It sounds more aggressive. Is this the apartment? The smell's coming from in. Yeah. We know what it is. Oh, we can't go in this time. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Is that the dog? Keep going, go back. It's just the dog. Hey, pop. Nah, gunpowder? What happened here? That breaks my heart, dude. Why is the dog here? Where's your owner, huh? Hey, gunpowder, where is your owner? Am I imagining things? Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Whoa, hey, hey, bud. Oh, no, not now. Come on. Ah. What happened? Did our camera cut? Gunpowder. Come back here. Is he running out? What's going into him? What was he sitting on, by the way? He just dashed down the hall. Huh? Looks like he was lying on top of some note. Ooh, so many choices. Let's check out the note. It's a note. I've had it and did what I shouldn't. Now I have an unending nightmare in my brain, in an endless loop with no chance of escape. And what scares me the most? It's not much worse than the life I left behind. If anyone reads this, don't leave gunpowder alone. She, she also, uh, these letters are giving me vertigo. Wait, the, the dog, where did he go to? Gotta find him. Gotta... Is he in the apartment? Gunpowder? I'm going inside to get replay that voice crack. Gunpowder! That's embarrassing. Only demons heard me do that though. Let's do it. We gotta go in. Am I going inside? Really? I don't know what I'm doing. Really? I will. We braved it, we braved it. <laughs> I just noticed it now and it's awful. Say it out loud. The camera carries me. Ah! Not the other way around. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a long time ago? Maybe when I submitted my application. Gunpowder? I'm going in. Let's find the dog. Um, are we going? We're going in. Here we go. What awaits inside apartment 608? That door slammed behind us. The TV. That is smashed up, bro. Do we want to inspect it? Let's look around this place. The chair? Why did she take the chair? Come on, ma'am. The door, the coat. We can't open, we can't do anything. Wait, back there, what is that? This is the only thing we can do. Did we progress or nah? Bro, oh, what the freak happened? We just zoom in on it. Is that, there's the dog, there's gunpowder. What's, is it the broadcast? On the TV, I think it is. Poor gunpowder sitting by it. I don't know what it's saying, I can barely hear it. It's so... It cut. Is that the tape that we saw? Walter Martin's telephone. Is this the dude? Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial. Okay, we're gonna let all this go down. Possivelmente a minha última. He knew it was his last broadcast. comunicado a fazer para todos vocês. This is what happened. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem tem me assombrado desde então. What did you Palavras find? não serão bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez tape. isso venha a assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. His image Mas a minha still. profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade. Jo What is happening? Se quiserem nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso que tenho a mostrar. Por isso, eu acho que todos sintam muito bem seus aparelhos. Não okay. cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a comunidade. E observem com atenção. 
He tried to broadcast the tape to the public. He tried to let everyone see it. But it didn't work. I am literally flabbergasted. Literally flabbergasted. I am, uh... That sound is my brain trying to figure things out. Look at all these different ways we still got. Look, question mark, question mark. I don't know what all of these are. That I guess these are the paths that I took. There was so much that I missed in this one. So this is our gallery. We can see these are what's remaining, I suppose. So if we rewind, look, we can rewind the tape to play maybe again. Maybe to delve in again and try and figure out what's uh, actually happening here. We got this. We can just play this whenever we want. Look at this. Did we see this? We had a chance to speak with the mother. What? She personally believed that there's some sinister hiding in there. No, of course not. People know no, what is happening. Risk, but in the end, they're just stories. Just stories. Just stories. Bro, just I don't know what I'm seeing right now. I'm, I'm like, okay, drown like I think this was one of the other games. Was that like an advertisement though? Wait, emergency. High chance of entry point system. The heck going on though? Okay, I'm gonna rewind. Does that mean we just play from the start? Bro, this is interesting. I knew this game looked cool and I knew something was going on here, but I didn't know it was gonna be like this. So this might be from the start. I think, look, we just removed the lens cover. So now we can make different choices throughout this adventure. So um, I guess we can kind of go through quick until we get to uh, the different decisions. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to her apartment. Now in the first loop, what we did is we watched the tape with um, Juliana. What I think I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna leave the apartment first of all instead of sticking with her. So she's gonna see it, but I'm not. And maybe that will mean that I am not gonna be involved in this loop because I'm not in the same room as that tape. Okay, so we saw this, the lot of bugs in this house. We uh, already looked at the um, electronics manual. So there's something weird going on with the tape. Did uh, Walter maybe create it or something? We saw this as well. I remember Walter bought this raincoat. We never, I don't know, we did speak about that. I'm thinking like maybe we should look at some things in the apartment that we didn't reference before. We could talk about like the plant. This door, wait, we can open this? Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh, that was weird. What did that have to do with anything by looking through that? Again, let me check. That's cool, bro. It's like so many little things that you, uh, man, you can really miss in this game. Wait, whoa. Is this still different even though we've rewound? You know, Walter better than I. He read a lot. I'm checking other things, guys. He read most of the newspapers every day. I guess these books belong to Mrs. Martins. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out what you can now. What else can we look at? What's this? Looks like a headline. The tragic passing of Walter Martins. So it's made the news already. I'm surprised she actually kept the paper. They move fast with this one. She won't have peace for a while. No, no, she won't. Wait, are we going to be seeing more things about Walter then? Hold up. CRT. Oh, VCR player. Fancy. How much is one of these things going for now? Some two million cruzeros? Or more than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for his. He told me that this one time he gave me a ride. Okay, so we've got that now. We can speak to her about. Okay, gunpowder meant a lot to Walter. Carried the picture of the dog in the wallet. He showed it around. So he loved gunpowder. Coffee's almost done. Yeah, great. And I've got some questions for you, ma'am. I'll have a coffee this time. Be my guest. So, did you think it over? So we do the interview. Let's ask these questions. Let's talk about uh, electronics manual. Walter was an avid reader, but was the one he was reading the last few days. So we spoke about walking around the house with the manual in his hands all the time. Kept messing with the VCR. Um, the expensive VCR. I noticed you have a brand new VCR. I'm just curious. I know Walter was quite the cinephile. What did he enjoy the most? Oh, she doesn't speak about that. Ma'am, can you ask about something else? Huh? Uh, uh, sure, you're, you're the boss. Paper headlines. The event has been garnering some media attention. Did this have an impact on you? Uh, I haven't slept in a while. In the morning when I got that newspaper, there it was, the headline staring at me, chasing me. And when I locked myself in here, you two arrived. So yes, I would say it's having quite the impact on me. Talk about gunpowder. What's been getting you through these difficult times? Gunpowder here helped me more than anything else. The dog. Of course, he's been quite sad. He knows something's amiss. He misses Walter. At least taking care of him has taken my mind off things. Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins. We have enough material already, so let's maybe skip forward to the tape unless something different happens. Okay, so we are going to say I'm out this time. Whoa, 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 stop right there. I'm not letting you throw this opportunity away. Look, you don't have to watch it. Just, just film me as I'm watching. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. I can't leave anyway, so there's no difference. Oh, she really made me stay and watch this thing. Maybe we can change the answers when we get asked about what we're seeing on the tape. Something going on with symbols, man. What do they mean? Gives me deja vu. I mean, we already saw them, so uh, yeah, we say that. Really? Me too. But where would I have I seen this before? 
How long has this loop been happening, guys? You know? Oh, it changed. Good. So the building this time, we can say maybe it's something else, like a shop, a museum. Yeah, but it, look at the expedition. Who would authorize this type of thing? Is it whatever we want it to be? He's just walking by everything. Wait, this is, uh, this is strange. Then the person up ahead that seemed to hijack the broadcast. That guy, he looks, and he begins his dang whispering. So do we change what we think he's saying this time? I still like. Let's try this one. ZKA, we're assuming control with ZKA. ZKA, you heard that? Really? I can't understand a dang thing. Let me turn the volume up one more time. And then we start hit that. Look, the static is talking. It's saying something. And then it cuts. The tape just cuts out. All right. And that's, I guess, our first loop done. Hey, you okay? We can get out. Let's go. We can just leave her. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't matter in that first suit. We can't really change too much. Where do these differences start coming into play? I've got to think here. Whoa, whoa. What? There are changes all the time. You look different today. I changed my makeup. What? Is, there's like intercuts in this second take. There's still changes. Like I'm scared to click through too fast. There's too much weird stuff happening alongside it all. I don't want to miss anything. It feels like there is a high chance I can. All right, let's uh, go to the window. What about if this time we can change what we do here? Can we, I don't know, go closer than before? Can we, like, jump out? Bro, what are we doing, you know? Let's just, I guess not. It's the same thing. Okay, let's uh, take this down this time. Just to uh, see if maybe that changes anything. Uh, I'll take it down. It's like a horseshoe. There you go. You didn't lose any fingers, did you? What did I, what do I do with this now? I don't care, as long as it's away from me. It's a horseshoe. Literally a horseshoe. That's it. The boots are... What do the boots have to do? What's the significance there? Why would the... You know, that be a uh, significance. Daily trophy. I thought they stopped handing this award. Fine. We create a new award then. So impatient, man. There. Okay, so we're back for the new interview. Um, she won't want to answer many questions, you know? It's about the tape. We've already seen all this one. She's left the apartment. I think maybe the changes may come post this scene because we can, uh, for example, like follow gunpowder instead of like follow, get the uh, the letter. She doesn't want to shoot the tape this time. Let me check the tape. There's something we can add to the video in editing, or maybe there is. Uh, and then we go and talk to her for the interview. So that's uh, identical again as to what we've done before. We'll talk, ask some questions. Let's try and choose the bottom one. I'll probably change nothing, but I still want to do it. I'm doing this just for myself, am I not? Ms. Martins, let's see if the interview questions might vary. Are you done? Not yet. Juliana's watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions. For your program, shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? It's an opportunity for me. Let's say it like this. Walter also worked many jobs before settling as an anchor man. Radio, sound operator, and so on. Fine, let's do this interview of yours. Let's ask how she's doing. Terrible. I haven't slept since, you know. Maybe I should have seen it coming. The atmosphere at home changed ever since that tape showed up. He would watch it many times a day, locked up in a room. He'd say he'd almost get it, but never showed me anything? He never showed it to me. Do you know where the tape came from? No. We need to investigate this. I think he got it at home, but I don't- I didn't see who delivered it. Walter collected movies. Hard to find films, recordings. Thought it was just another one. Just thinking about that girl, alone in my living room, watching that thing. It makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? Okay, so not much else actually happened. Uh, a, a lot of this is the same. I'm thinking maybe the only change we can do is with gunpowder. Follow gunpowder, don't take the note. I am curious about if I say the wrong apartment, what would happen? Well, we're gonna go the cannon route again. It's about getting to gunpowder this time. Let's pick our choices correctly this time also. So we need, I don't know, I need to pay attention. So we have to always check the apartment. I need to think. Don't follow the, don't follow the sound, dude. So we have no choice. We've got to do this every time. Okay, so we're at the smell. The smell, it's stronger here. The smell, no. We don't want to follow it this time. Keep going. Yeah, 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 go to gunpowder. So we skipped that whole sequence in the house. Gunpowder? What happened here? So can we follow gunpowder? I thought, bro, I thought that was blood behind his back. It looks like a plant, to be honest. Okay, so he's out. Yeah, we ran just like last time. We're gonna follow gunpowder now. He went to the TV. Don't read the note. We don't need to read that note. Dash into the hall. Ooh, we don't have to, though. No, I want to leave this place. Enough! This story! It was all wrong since the start. Elevator would be faster. Stairs seem safer. I mean, the elevator could loop us again. Let's go stairs, right? The stairs. I found the stairs. The same way we came up. Wait, we're reversing up. We are not escaping. We're going up. Hold up. Gunpowder? I'm... No. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Can we... we gotta do elevator. We're forced to it. The stairs... It just, it brought us back. It's like we tried to escape, but it was like, no, 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 you're, you're backtracking. Just go already. Isn't our colleague in there? Isn't Juliana in there? Okay, something's happening. Something is happening here. 
But I don't know what. Are we escaping? Are we... What? Woodland? What's going on? Like... Bro, I don't know what's happening. And we're back here. We ha Wait, so we have to do this? I'm going. I need to. Yeah, so what changes? How do we change this? So what can we do to change things here? I don't want to open that door. I don't want to. No, I don't want to go that way. Fine. Is there a tape somewhere around here? That's what I'm thinking. Can we maybe find the tape? The boots are still gone. We can't leave anymore. Come on, man. There must be something else we can do. Look, there's, there's nothing else we can inspect. It's just about the TV. So no matter what we tried, everything just, it, it ended the same way as before. Caros boa noite. Esteemed viewers, good night. Is this what you said last time? I'm just gonna, like... This is different. Lenses have become our eyes. All we see. I understand the enthusiasm to search for more, to learn more. But you know what happened to me when I did this thing. This is Walter talking. Why did you go down this path? Well, it doesn't matter. You've reached the truth, viewer, and it has a price. We don't need to fully pay it, though. We don't need to subject ourselves to this. Listen. They have no control over us. Not yet. Turn the video off. Go away and do not come back. You'll slip through their fingers. The greatest of rebellions. Go away. Do not come back. What is happening? Now I'm even more confused than before. This tape is so weird. It's elusive. I need to know more about it, but I'm being encouraged to just turn my back, go away. Don't try and check it again. There's more. Look, we got more stuff here. So there was different things. We're still missing this one singular thing here, but everything else we have. These tapes, look, by watching them, look at this. What is happening in these tapes? Like, we're seeing things in reverse. Like, walking out of the woods backwards, all this stuff. What does this have to do? How can we get closer to the truth with this? And it's the same. We can just watch those back. The different instances. Look, and it's what we've seen before. That was technically a different ending, where it's more about, like, turn the tape off, stop trying to search for the truth in it, and, uh... You know, don't explore more. That makes me want to, in turn, though, rewind again and explore even more. Whoa. There's another thing. I was just saying we can get a nice take by the window. Someone's been coming here for a smoke. See the ashtray? Don't show me that. I haven't touched nicotine in three years. Come on, let's head down the corridor. It's like now that we've uh, experienced this loop several times, if we look at something before we actually meet maybe the widow there, we get like an envisionment of it almost. I'm going to see the top one. It's so, uh, you know, intricate. We haven't done this option. Chard? Who's Chard? You really heard that. So it seems like uh, we can only really ch just say something. It's the same message. And again, we get the TV doing what it's saying there, which is uh, a whole bunch of uh, confusion bullcrap, really. So in the extra loop, this, when we talk about the plant, it's no longer dying. It's well taken care of. Uh, I don't think Mrs. Mine has uh, let the tragedy affect her routine. That's interesting. That's actually a really interesting observation. We didn't see that one before. Walter Mine's tragic death took a hidden knife to the TV. What's interesting is that depending on the option that we see in the first day, we had like a knife, we had a poison or something. It changes in this loop to what we saw as the, uh, the factual way. So that's very weird. Very interesting why it does that. Oh, look, the TV's different. Oh, shoot. We didn't see this last time. Telefarm, there it is. The music's so muffled. We're like zoning in on it. I can't break out. Something about this TV set gives me the creeps. Hey, there's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look, go there and take it off. Should we do it as well? Well, bro, that dog scared the crap out of me. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, we're at the apartment part. I'm actually gonna say the wrong answer. Let's go 806. Was that the number? I just want to see what happens. I had someone else with me. Julia, let's see it like that. Who is Julia? I don't know. That tape. Okay, so we go back here. I saw the past of a future that never happened. Let's say that one. In which future do I exist now? From which past did I come? The apartment. She stayed there. It's like, yeah, it's like for some reason when we watch the tape, what we saw in our reality, it's like that's what the factual thing is. We then experience that, you know, the, the past of a future that never existed. It's, it's kind of weird, but it does make sense. We're at the grate. We could see what's in there. Or we don't need to. Uh, like, what do we do? I don't know, bro. I mean, we've already seen what's in there, right? Let's say I don't want to see what's in there. Wait, this has changed in response to our answer as well. It says, I now live in a past of a future that never happened. I move through strange events, ephemeral facts. Truth and lies no more than an idiot's dream. If anyone reads this, don't leave gunpowder alone. She, she also, 
Ugh. These letters are giving me vertigo. So we've uh, we've read that. That no matter what, we already tried to follow the dog before reading the letter. It still results in the same thing. I wonder if the boots in this this world means that Walter is actually alive in this version. We live in a past of a future that never happened. Okay, so it's like a different version. Maybe Walter never died in that one, uh, and we're in the past of that future. That's why I'm starting to think maybe it could have been that his wife died in this one, because we don't see her. And maybe Walter is like out. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's this is such a trippy plot, guys. It really is. And by Walter saying, like, don't watch the tape, he's saying, like, don't get stuck in that past of a future that never happened. Stay in your own reality. Don't let it merge. Does that even make sense? It's so confusing. Even like me saying that out loud. I don't understand what I mean, but I also understand and get it. Steam viewers, good night. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão there, especial is this different? Programa. I don't know. Pois, you're seeing this, I believe it's already too late. This is the ending, the other ending we already got about lenses becoming our eyes. I think his speech as well about us, like, you know, going away and never coming back in that second ending. That's telling us, the viewer, like, you know, we can escape still before it's too late. But everyone else, like who we saw in that, they are trapped and they are not able to escape no matter what. Still have this one locked. I don't know how we uh, we find that last one, but uh, man, I think that's probably all it is when it comes to the endings. There may be like one more. And wait, what's this? Hold on, I click on this. Oh, it's like a... Di okay, I see what we're doing here. Yeah, it's like if you watch the tape in that universe, it's like, it's like you experience, the, as it says, the past of a future that never happens. So you're in a different reality experiencing that like chain of events. You know how it's like the infinite universe theory or whatever there's multiple versions of you doing multiple things so like you're in that different one experiencing what's going on in that future you know all that stuff like, let me draw it out hold up look this is us okay we watched that program and when we watch that program we might see things in this place you know like there was a rumor about how he passed away let's say we said it was poison i'm gonna write poison really uh really bad after we watch the tape and experience that next day again if we examine for example like the newspaper it would say that you know he he had gone ahead and poisoned himself so it was factual like like if we looked at the plant in the first day, it would say that it was dead. If we looked at it in like the next day, it was like, you know, nice sunny flower. Look, oh, look how nice that flower is. It's so abstract. I don't even know what it is. But then the, the third loop where everything seems to go down. It's like everyone becomes like crazy. Is that also another loop? Like the past of a future that never experienced. So after that one, we go to another one where everything is in absolute disarray. The world itself is falling apart. And I don't know. There's so many questions like the work boots being missed from Walter. It's like in that universe, maybe Walter didn't die and instead his wife did. Like, I don't know if that's what I was trying to get at. This is absolutely a brain tickler of a game. I might be completely off the mark. And by all means, guys, if I am, I encourage you guys to uh, let me know what you think about Teleform and what was going on here. It's something to do with that tape. For some reason, maybe Walter wanted to then mass broadcast this to everyone. Like everyone could be exposed to, um, you know, this tape or something. Maybe that was like his last kind of thing before he bid the world farewell. Well, he was like, I'm going to do this last thing to everyone out there, broadcast it. But the tape was a blank. You know, you can't copy it. It's only on the original tape where the effect of this can happen. I, I don't know. I have no idea. This is so confusing, but also so interesting. This is a game called it Teleform, guys. If you want to play it for yourself, it's actually free and you can find it linked down below. I would suggest you do. Maybe there's lots of, uh, you know, small things. You can do some digging and find the real mystery about this game. Let me know what you thought about this game, guys. This was a lot of fun to experience and dip into uh, several times. But for this video right here, that is going to be everything. And I really hope you guys did enjoy. Enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like crate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy, and if you ever go ahead, find a tape with similar links to a thing like this, go ahead and destroy it as soon as you can.